Over the last 80 years, Promat's Durasteel, supplied through a network of licensed installers, has built a worldwide reputation in passive fire protection engineering. Part of Promat's ongoing multi-million pound expenditure on over 220 tests and 450 assessments includes the 240-minute fire resistance test at the world-renowned Exeva Warrington Fire Fire Test Facility. Its objective? To determine Durasteel's performance within a fire resistance test to EN 1364 Part 1 over four hours using a construction of a single skin of 9.5 mm Durasteel on either face Double 9.5 mm fillets and infill of mineral wool. As well as satisfying the requirements of EN 1364 Part 1, this test also demonstrates the unique features of Durasteel light, strong, impact, and fire resistant. Durasteel is also an A1 non combustible material. Therefore, it does not contribute to fire. The test will demonstrate Durasteel's ability to maintain compartmentation, preventing the spread of fire. The fire resistance test also generates data to measure the transmission of thermal radiation. This data is used to determine if combustible material would ignite within a given distance of the unexposed face of the barrier. According to EN 1364, the average temperature rise on the unexposed side must not exceed 140 degrees C, equivalent to 284 degrees Fahrenheit, or 180 degrees C at any one point, equivalent to 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Five thermocouples are placed on the unexposed side of the Durasteel barrier, with additional thermocouples at perimeter and joint positions at the discretion of the laboratory. This test is designed to represent a fire in a building. Thermocouples within the furnace will measure the temperature to ensure it follows the cellulosic fire curve according to the standard. Other tests have shown that Durasteel can also withstand exposure to a hydrocarbon fire. This is a more onerous test, designed to represent fires in the oil and gas industry. In the real world, fire is not the only threat to human life in a building. There could be other dangers, such as parts of the building collapsing. Therefore, it is imperative to understand and replicate how the Durasteel system performs, even after four hours of fire. Ten minutes before the completion of the fire resistance test, Durasteel is then subjected to the impact test. EN 1363 Part 2 subjects the Durasteel system to an equivalent 3,000 Newton meter impact, not just once, but three times. Although not required within the British standard, this rigorous procedure differentiates Promat from its competitors as the only manufacturer to perform this test. The final part of this test is to prove whether Durasteel can withstand a hose stream sprayed evenly over the surface for five minutes at a pressure of 310 kilopascals, or 3.1 bar. This is to meet the integrity requirements of UL ASTM E119-12. After being subjected to the intensity of four-hour fire resistance, impact, and hose stream testing, Durasteel maintains its integrity and exceeds the test requirements, proving again that Durasteel, supplied by its licensed installers, is the choice in fire protection engineering.